Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the Flash Game Paradox where I decide which games deserve a spot in the Flash Museum before Flash dies in December of 2020. Today this comes from modifier Kevin and he wanted me to play Kitty Cannon. And you know what? I've played Kitty Cannon before and I'm excited to play Kitty Cannon again. Let's play some Kitty Cannon. It's a very simple game. There's a cannon. There's kitties in it. I can adjust this any way I want. I'm going to go with a nice 45 degree angle here. Come on. Up, 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 up. There you go. Perfect height versus arc. 75 degrees. That's just how it is. And then I uh, fire a kitty. I forgot to put 15 minutes on the clock. We're going. 15 minutes are now going. So as always, this game has 15 minutes to impress me. 512, not bad. Not bad for a first shot of the kitty cannon. Let's go again. Let's go again. All right, so I think i got to give it a little bit more oomph forward. And we fire the kitty cannon. That, that's a Yoshi noise, right? The, the trampoline is just straight up the Yoshi noise from Super Mario World. Oh my fucking god. DNT. Lol. What does DNT stand for? Anybody? That was deplorable. Let's, uh, I think, actually, you know what? I think we're going to go for straight distance right away. Here we go. Boom. Not good, not good. Is there a strength -a meter? Oh, there is a strength -a meter that I, I was just not paying attention to. Ready? I want, the, I want a full cannon blast, ready? Ooh, yeah. Oh, right on the spikes. That ends the run immediately. All right, so I think I'm gonna go back to the 45 degree angle here. There we go. Full cannon blast. Here we go. Yeah, that's much better. Hit one of those fly. Oof. Spikes got me. Let me do it again. I'm going to go for it again. It looks like. Oh, spikes immediately. Watch very carefully. It looks like on the power gauge, it looks like there's a word that pops up for a moment. Here we go. Like, like for a split, like, like for a frame, it says something. Go, kitty. Go, kitty. Yes, hit that flying missile being held up. Venus flytrap. I think, I think the, the way to go with this is you go like this, you give it full power, you hope you hit dynamite immediately, and that'll be the most distance possible. Okay, I think it's a little too low. A little too low. So let's actually let's go up a smidge here. You know, 25 is my lucky number. But it's a, there we go, 25. Kablue. There you go. You want to hit that deep, that, yes! You want to hit that dynamite right away. Hmm. Oh, oh, come on. I hit, I hit the trampoline so lightly it didn't even make a noise. That's a new high score though, so this is this is the way to go. Let's see if I can get ooh. Let's see if I can get a thousand here. There we go. Come on. No. Not going great. Not going great. Let's try to. We're going back this way. I like this plan. There it is. That's what we need. It's not what we needed. Let's go real high. We'll go real high. We haven't done that yet. Super height. Super height.
Oh, super height might be the way to go. Let's go super height again. Look at your super height again. They're going to go, hit back. Boing. One more, one more, one more good one. One more good one. Thro throw out some numbers in the chat of what you'd like to set the kitty cannon to. And even 50? And even 50. How about that? And drawing. Oh. Oh. Here we go. We got the comeback coming. Come on. Drawing. It's just the audio dies. 69? I'm sorry, Weaver, but I don't think... I think the high as it goes is 60. So we'll do... We'll do 60. Ah, boom. I didn't, I didn't wait for the right moment. <laughs> let's see if I get... Let's see what the saddest I can get is. Fifteen feet. Real sad one, ready? <laughs> this is good for science though, hold on. So if all the way up and all the way down both resulted in 15 feet, let's do, well, 45 is not, 45 is in the middle of a 90 degree angle. I'm just getting real deep into this. 20, okay. But let's also do 30, since that's, well, it's in between 10 and 60. Well, half of 60 is still 30. Just figuring out mathematically what the best angle is here. 20. All right. Oh, I remember the terrible Happy Tree Friends video game. Yeah, this is very similar to Happy Tree Friends. All right, so it seems that in the middle is the way to go here. Let me try 35, 35.5, ooh. 20, all right, so it seems like in the middle is the best way to do it because at its minimum, minimum power, it goes further when it's at a high, a middling angle. So technically, this should be stronger. This is a good run. This is a good. This is a real good run. Ah, that's a new high score. That's seven ninety five. That's amazing. I'm done. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think I've kitty cannoned all I could. So we'll do one more shot. <laughs> okay. Kitty cannon. It's the whole game. It's, it's three buttons. Let's go to the Flash Museum. How much? Um, how how much did this entertain me? Time wise. About about halfway. It's about about seven and a half minutes. To the Flash Museum. Yes, welcome back to the Flash Museum. Once again, there's five permanent spots. It's not getting a permanent spot. There's five, or there's six rotating spots. There's one remaining. And then I can fill up the other ones as much as I want. Kitty Cannon is a classic. I think everyone has spent some time playing Kitty Cannon. It's one of those games everybody knew about and wasted a few minutes about it. But uh, when push comes to shove, the cat's not really even animated. It's just a still picture that gets rotated and flung around. It's entirely luck, not really skill. The sound effects are stolen from other video games. And most importantly, this is like the first launch game. This was then preceded by such games as Buffalo Bison and Toss a Turtle and uh, Learn to Fly. All, all games that incorporated more control 
RPG elements. Different hazards and bonuses. I think, at best, this is a flash footnote. It only gets a flash footnote because of the games it inspired. So in the Flash Museum, it'd be good to mention Kitty Cannon. But it doesn't deserve to be played. It doesn't deserve a full write-up. It's the games that it inspired does. But in the end, I believe this is just a flash footnote. What else should I play? As you see, the queue once again is empty. So if you have any suggestions of what flash games deserve a spot in the flash museum, or terrible flash games that you want me to play and then be miserable, please leave them in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to Plus Two Comedy Gaming, and also watch me live. I play the Flash Game Paradox every Wednesday at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time over on Plus Two Comedy on Twitch. Thanks again for joining me once more for the Flash Game Paradox.